Hey, hey, it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me because I am quite lonely. Any video you watch on YouTube these days or even on TV, there is text involved. Now, as a beginner, you're learning how to do just aesthetic text, but you want to go to the next level and create text motion. Something as simple as just moving the text across the screen or something completely fun. Stick around in this tutorial, I will teach you all about text motion. Let's simply start by creating a text. So title one or title two makes no difference. Double click, go into your preview window again, double click and then start creating your text. Simply, I'm just going to type in the word text. Now I'm going to go over to the right hand panel over here. I'm going to go to font and I'm going to use the alignment tool and just click center alignment. All this does is just places it perfectly into the center. You're also wondering what this little box is. This is your title safe area. In other words, it's trying to tell you, keep all the text within this little box here. If you do not see this box, go settings, preferences, come down into the general tab, display title safe area on. Just click it and press OK and that will bring up that little title save area. Video Studio offers you a multiple ways of creating text motions. Let's have a look at something simple first as the presets that it offers. If you do come across this type of layout where it's all over here, you can simply use this little icon here, click it once, and then that brings up all the little presets of different types of motion. You can simply click on it and then watch the preview. The problem with this one is if I did use one of this, let's go in, click and drag it to the timeline, double click on it. I can now change the wording, but that means the font that comes with it stays the same. So therefore I must then also start changing the font just simply to get this motion effect. And I believe this is too cumbersome when there are simple, easier ways to do it. Let's go back to the original text. Now, before I go on, let me show you two little tips or tricks that could actually help you out later on. If you want to change the length of the text, simply take your cursor to the end and see it until it turns into a black arrow and just hold down the left mouse key. You will now see that this entire clip is only three seconds long. If you want to change it, drag it left or right. And as you can see, it adds more time. Or if you take it the other way left, it takes away time. Now, also, if you want to place your text on a certain part of your clip or in your movie, like let's say you want it to start at the five second mark. Watch this. I'm going to highlight the clip and you can tell it's highlighted again with the orange box again left mouse and now you see the counter underneath and what this is going to do is going to tell you as you drag it along where the clip will start now we want it at the five second mark so now we can see underneath this five seconds so you are now perfect on the five second mark and you can release so this is a really interesting way of getting precisely where you want the text to start and also you can change the length of the text. Keep that in mind. Let's go back to the first text that we created. All I want you to do is double click onto that text track. You'll see now that your preview window has a small box surrounded by the text. And what this does, it opens up more options for the text. You now have here tabs and you'll see one of the tabs is called motion. I want you to check the apply and what this is going to do is going to give you a whole bunch of presets but some of these presets can be customized to your needs if you want to see the effect make sure or any of these double click you'll see a yellow box and then press play in your preview window therefore you can see exactly what it does great let's go back to the text motion now over here you'll see that you have more options to customize it Currently, it's telling you that it's going by letter per character. You can change this, say, per word, per line, or the whole text. You can also have the option where, as it goes in or up, let's say we want the marker to go up, and then we want the marker to go back down. So anytime something is highlighted in blue, that means that's the effect that's being applied. Now, we can also change the duration here by pausing it. And again, some of them, not all of them, can be customized. For example, if I go into, say, the fade option, the fade option here, I get different customization options here. Just go through it. Now, in my humble opinion, this is the easier and best way for a beginner to start learning how to create text motion. 
Let's do a small demonstration on how you would go about creating motion on text. So you've got your text in your timeline, and I'll show you there's two ways you can actually highlight it. You can double click it while it's in the timeline, or just move your cursor over the text and click it once. And this automatically then highlights it as well. The first thing I want to do, I want to add in more text. So I just go to the end of the text, double click, and that gives me the cursor. I'm going to type text in twice. There you go. Now, I'm also going to show you how you can recenter this. The easiest way is just to click and drag it to where you think it's going to be centered. But I will show you another way, which is actually quite good. We go back into the Font tab. The easiest way is hit this alignment, and it puts it right in the center. However, we can go even more critical than that. Show grid lines, check that. And also, if you go into the settings, you check Snap to Grid. You can change the settings on the grids here, but I'm going to show you what it does. As I'm clicking and dragging, it's automatically going to snap to the grid lines. If you want something precise because of a video that you're making, this comes in very, very handy. For now, I'm not going to use it, so I'm going to uncheck it. I'm going to go into the Motion tab, and I'm going to apply the effect of any text animation. Let's just do as simple as this pop-up. You will see that if I press play, there it is, text. Now I want to customize this option. So again, I'm going to highlight my text. Again, it gives me this uh, option of customizing it. It's got character start unit. I may wish to do the whole word, and I may also wish to do the line as it leaves. It's going to come in from the bottom. It's going to leave at the bottom. Well, I'm going to come in from the top left and see the difference as it makes. Here we go. Let's play that. All right. So I've customized everything to what I want it. Now I can still play even further. Let's do the line in here as well. And let's have a look at that. There you go. So as you can see, I have more control on what the text does. But is there even a better version or a better way? And can I even have more control on how I customize? And the answer is absolutely yes, and I will show you how that is done. Let's take a look at another method on creating custom text. Now, this is more of an advanced movement, but again, it is simple to follow and understand. All we need to do, again, is create any text that you wish. On your clip, right-click, and a new menu pops up, and you'll see here Motion Options. Go to Custom Motion, and a new panel will give you some options. Okay. If you look at it, it's very basic to understand the position of where this is currently. If you want it dead center, you could just simply type in zero, and that would then make it dead center, the size of the text. The opacity, in other words, how clear, you can make it to the point where you can almost make it disappear, like so. So it's pretty straightforward when you're just looking at it. Rotation, the shadow, in case you have a white background, and you want black text with a shadow on the white background, you can create that, and you can even flip it. Again, these are pretty basic to understand, but where it gets a bit tricky is when you want to do something with the text. For example, you want the text to go from here to here to here, and let's say you want to bounce it off the wall or something. So you want to create something very unique, and this is where keyframes plays a huge part. If you look along this little timeline, you'll see here a node, and that's a keyframe. Anytime I make an adjustment, this keyframe will represent all the new numbers here. Let's have a look at the position. I'm going to click and drag this, and then you can see that the positioning is changing. If I release it, it stays there. So now this keyframe is telling the text to be at this position. It's pretty basic to understand. So let's do something very simple. Let's just for now move the text from left to right. So to do that, I'm just going to click and drag this. Now, obviously the mouse is going to be limited. I cannot move it any further. So I can also then just click it. All right, so the line is not straight because the Y axis tells me this. So I can simply just type in zero. And now it'll be straighter. Now watch what happens when I play it, because it's going to go from this keyframe to this keyframe. And if I click on this keyframe, because now it's blue, if I click on it, it'll go red. It'll tell you all the new positionings of the X and Y axis. 
So let's play it and you'll see what I mean. There you go. If you want to add in keyframes anywhere along the timeline and then give it new orders or new commands, simply add keyframe by using this one here. So now we can do something as simple as, well, I want you to go here. We can now make it go even further. And I said, well, you want to do it here. And the process just repeats itself until you get the desired results that you're after. And then for the last keyframe, we could bring it right back to the center. And if we play it, it'll do exactly what I said I would do. Make it come in, down, and bounce off the walls. And that, my friends, is more of an advanced way of making text motion simply by using keyframes. If you are interested to see how this really works in more detail, like with shadows and borders and mirror and fades in and all that, leave a comment and I will make a more an advanced tutorial on this. But this is the simplistic way to do it. Now I'm also showing you this because there is still one more option that you have in creating motion in text that does involve keyframes. We can also add FX filters to our text. So if we go into the FX filters, you'll see here title effects. Now you can apply any of these filters if you want, but let's just stick to something very basic and use title effects. I'm going to use the throw stone. I'm going to click, hold and drag this and place this onto my text track. You'll now see a star pop up. If I left click on this star, you can go filter, stone throw, and this allows you to get into the actual filter itself. And like the, the custom motions, this involves keyframes. We can just simply press play and see what the effect is. Like so. And again, if we want to add in keyframes and change it, we do this by adding here, add keyframe. And then we have these options to change it. Now, every filter will obviously come with different options, but they all remain the same when it comes to keyframes. Some will not even have keyframes. It'll just give you one option that's going from this point to that point. But most filters will give you a keyframe. We can even still go for one step further. And that is use a very specific keyframe or a very specific filter. What I'm going to do before I do that, I'm going to go onto this star again. Left click it. I'm going to delete this filter just to save confusion. I'm going to click and drag this one onto my text track and the same thing filter new blue title of pro okay so this is a way more of an advanced uh filter it does require its very own tutorial but i'm letting you know about this so you're aware that there are still more options available when it comes to making text or the text motion no, I don't want to use that. Now, here's an interesting thing as well. You can apply as many filters to your text as you wish. And then still, if you right click it, have the option of going in to customize your motion yet again. So as you can see, there is a many, many ways that we can create text motion or even effects when we come to using Corel Video. I think most people just are not aware of just how much it can be done. Now you think, well, that's it. No, you still have one more option, and that is the 3D title editor. So what this one does, it does virtually everything I've just explained to you, but it does this in 3D. 3D text is just that. It's basically text in 3D. As you can see, it's just 3D. And it's the same thing as the title of Pro. It's quite advanced. You have a lot of options here with keyframes. You can change many things like the material that you want to place on the actual product, like your 3D text can be of uh, a plastic cover or anything like that. But this would require a whole new tutorial because it is quite complex and it's quite advanced. But for now, let's just stay with the basics because you are a beginner. And I've, I've just given you many options of creating text motion within Corel Video Studio. And there you go, my friends. I hope you've learned something today. And as always, thanks for watching.